you're busy. You're stressed. You're overworked and under-resourced. It's one thing to feel that way, but acting out on these feelings in a way that makes others feel reluctant or even scared to approach you can undermine your reputation and your career. And if your direct reports or superiors or colleagues don't want to approach you, you're likely to miss out on access to timely information, lose personal and professional credibility, not to mention likability, and ultimately be seen as the kind of person who other people don't want to have conversations with. So how do you know if you're unapproachable? You might say things like, I'm too busy because I'm the boss. Hey, those are the rules. I don't make them. Are you new here? Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, let me interrupt you. That sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. We don't have the luxury of thinking about things like that. Don't bring me problems without solutions. Your tone might be interpreted as sarcastic, exasperated, curt, brusque, threatening, dismissive, scolding, defensive, patronizing, condescending, exhausted. And your body language may include an expressionless face or an overly expressive face, arms crossed, eyes rolling, hands over your eyes, teeth gritted, scalp massaging, headphones on, being on your cell phone or answering emails while someone else is talking to you, standing up and walking away. And you may be thinking to yourself, that's not me, or I've never heard anyone say that. And maybe that's true. But consider this. If people experience you as unapproachable, how likely is it that they feel comfortable approaching you to give you honest and open feedback? So let's assume it's possible that some people find you somewhat unapproachable some of the time. Let's also assume that if you're being unapproachable, maybe it's for a really good reason. Perhaps you need a little uninterrupted time to get a pressing project finished, or you need some headspace to deal with a personal issue, and you need people to leave you alone. If that's the case, but you haven't figured out how to advocate for your needs, you're likely to push people away permanently. You might get the space you need right now, but it will come at the cost of your relationships, credibility, influence, and impact. So, what can you do instead? Have conversations where you ask for what you need rather than acting out. Try saying, I need a few uninterrupted hours to wrap this project up. I'm gonna close my door until 3 p.m. so that I can focus and then I'll be available to you. This way you'll be viewed as assertive and considerate rather than unapproachable. You don't need to make yourself available to everyone every minute of the workday, but you do need to make yourself the kind of professional who is seen as inviting and inclusive of other people and their ideas.